Hey, welcome back, Rankers. You having a good week? Uh, a couple of interesting things happened this week. Uh, well, actually, just one, as it turns out so far. Uh, on the weekend, Google started sending out messages to website owners from uh, Google Search Console. Now, if you haven't got Google Search Console set up, you wouldn't have got one of these messages if you were one of the uh, sites that was affected. But basically, Google is now sending out messages like this to site owners where their site is has pages on it that are insecure. So this is part of the HTTPS warning that we're talking about. So it's not rolled out yet. My understanding is that you will start to see the warning once this version of Chrome, so this is Chrome uh, 56, once it comes out of beta. So at the moment we're at... Uh, uh, so this one's up to date, it's version 56. When this one comes out of beta, then you'll start to see the warning. And that's within the next, I would say, week or so, given that we're seeing all these warnings being sent out to uh, website owners now. Now, the reason that the Google's sending out these uh, warnings is there are a lot of sites that are insecure. So the search I've done here is uh, search for the word login uh, but don't give me results that have HTTPS in the URL and just so, show me sites from Australia. So basically I'm saying just show me web pages that have got the word login on them and that they are actually insecure. So if we, we can see here, here's a few that we've looked at. So Qantas is a big one. Uh, you may be familiar with that brand. Uh, we've got the Courier Mail, which I think think is News Limited? I don't know. I don't read the newspaper. Yeah, News Corp, there you go. Uh, so presumably a lot of the News Corp ones would be the same. So this is a digital pass. This is the uh, email address and password that's been collected. And you can see up here now that we've got not secure. Now you won't see that with just the normal uh, browser. If you want to go and see these not secure warnings up here, you'll need to do a little bit of jiggery pokery. And there's a nice little article tells you how to do that and it is at well if you well here you go avoid not secure warn so I'll put that in the description of the, um, the in the blog and also in the YouTube description so you can go directly to it if you haven't got one of these but the way this explains quite clearly how you can get that message uh, non-secure ap appearing in your browser uh, by adjusting some of the flags that Chrome produces. And that's what we've done here. We've just selected, um, yeah, basically show me the non-secure warning when I go to non-secure sites. Now, when this browser comes out of beta, that will be the default. It's not the default at the moment. So lots and lots of sites. So we've got, um, and oh yeah, this is an interesting thing, which, because uh, we've spoken to a lot of clients, and a lot of clients have said, well, you know, my cart's secure, it's got uh, HTTPS on it, and my login and my accounts section has got HTTPS login all on it, so we should be right. We said, yeah, okay, for the moment. Um, but what I hadn't seen was this. So this site, for instance, this page is, you can't see any logins or credit card information there that's being collected. But as soon as you click this, and you see we don't have uh, non-secure up here either. Now, incidentally, incidentally this pop-up that's just come up, uh, it will not trigger a non-secure warning because we're not collecting passwords. But as soon as I click this, and I get this little pop-up come up and says you put in your username and password, then we get the non-secure warning. And there's a lot of sites in that boat. Uh, I think, uh, well, home improvement pages is, is a bit different, but you can see here we've still got the non-secure warning. Uh, AFL, watch AFL, non -se not secure. Um, and, you know, it's not going to affect necessarily traffic initially to your site, but it's probably going to increase your bounce rate significantly, especially for new users or even returning users that aren't familiar with it. I mean, if they start to see not secure, you're going to start to wonder, oh, do I really want to put my usernames and passwords in there? And so Qantas, I saw a bank before, no, not that one. But look at this. So we've got, um, so for this search I did, we have 6.4 million pages in Australia 
and of businesses we could possibly say let's wait for that type date five five point two million of those are actually businesses you can see here we've got Law, the, the Law Society, uh, where else have we got? I mean, there's a heap here, right? So, um, but then even a little bit more just, I mean, Loan Kit is insecure. Uh, there was actually one in here that said uh, there was a subdomain, oh, yeah, this one, Royal Car secure.royalcaribbean.com.au. No. Oh, yes, it is actually secure. So, no, yes, it is secure. So, uh, at some point it wasn't secure, but now it is. Uh, so there's a lot there and then we go and have a look at government sites we've got 1.7 million pages and all I've done there is I've just changed that uh, site to say show me government pages so a lot of councils uh, do not have HTTPS and they're collecting usernames and passwords um, let's see we've got uh, well here here's our own local council Monash and you can see here we've got not secure warning up here and we want an email and a password here so um, Google's pushing pretty hard on this so they're not saying that it's going to affect your rankings right now but I think it certainly will especially when they do what they're saying they're going to do which is roll this out to every page that is not HTTPS. So at the moment, you're only going to get these non-secure warnings on pages that are collecting um, passwords and or credit card details. But what Google has said in these messages and also in this article today, which they hadn't said before, is that uh, you should plan to have every, like this not secure warning for all pages will be served if it's over HTTP. So if you have any page over HTTP at some point in the future, Google is going to mark that as not secure. So it's a pain in the bum to do. It's uh, not as easy as Google will tell you it is. And it's um, time consuming to do, but long, in the long run, it's going to affect your traffic it's going to affect your transactions and it's going to affect your conversions so you're going to have to do it so those of you who are out there who have um, dragging your feet on this um, and Google's pretty serious about it so hopefully that's helpful uh, if you see anything like this or you you've got anything to add please let us know if you want a site review or anything like that just leave it in the comments either on YouTube smart company or the blog or Facebook or wherever you're watching this video and uh, we'll see you next week thanks very much bye